We also watched AEW Dynamite January 20th, 2021, which opens with Negative One's birthday celebration. We finally saw on, saw on Dynamite the clip from Dark of Negative One cutting a promo on Dr. Luther, telling him he has a ball on his face, and his face just looks stupid, and the Dark Order will always beat him. And they light the candles on Negative One's cake. And it's outside and windy, so this is much more difficult than it sounds. And John Silver says it's time tonight. We will get a handsome cowboy recruit, Adam Page. And it's also somebody's birthday. And the whole crowd sings happy birthday to negative one. But then Dr. Luther interrupts. This place is becoming nothing but a daycare center, he says. You want to say I look stupid? My face is perfectly symmetrical. You're the stupid looking one. You're the doofus. The Chaos Project doesn't like children. The Chaos Project doesn't like you. And the Chaos Project is going to ruin your birthday. What a great show. <laughs> what a great show. So the match is Hangman Page in the Dark Order versus Chaos Project in TH2. And for a long time, I was just struggling to wrap my head around the fact that I was watching Jack Evans and Dr. Luther wrestled in the same match on national cable television in 2021. It was 20 years ago, maybe 21 years ago, last time I saw them on the same show, it was not on TNT. You know, it wasn't. Life is strange. So it is a dynamite match. There's a bunch of stuff happening. A bunch of dives outside the ring. A bunch of dives inside the ring. Luther and Colt Cabana end up by the cake where negative one hits Luther with a stick and he goes into the cake. And Paige and some of the guys in Dark Order do a tremendous combo of moves in the ring. They pin Serpentico. And then <laughs> afterwards, Negative One hits Serpentico with a stick as well. Adds, my birthday was three days ago, you idiots. And he throws papers at them like his daddy would have done. And they cut to his family where uh, I, I believe her name is Amanda is having the time of her life. And poor young Nolan seems scared by this whole thing. He was not sure what to make of this. But I was. This is a lot of fun. Just fun, fun, fun. Dude, this is a very controversial segment I learned today. I really liked this. And the argument is, too wacky. There's a kid with a stick. Luther's out there being goofy. It's Dr. Luther. Well, here's my take on it, all right? Let's say that you're a fan, and you didn't like this, okay? All right. If you're a fan and this made you quit watching wrestling, you wouldn't be watching in a year anyway. This is not the sport for you. Okay, you just wouldn't, all right? Now, casual fans. Maybe there was some bloke sitting all by himself that for the first time ever decided to watch AEW alone, and he watched this and he never watched again. Yeah, maybe that happened, okay? But my guess would be that anybody who was watching this show for the first time or they're not really a fan, probably was watching with somebody who was a fan. My wife, for example, even though we didn't watch this together. And if Whitney looked at this and said, what the fuck is going on? I would have said, well, that young fellow right there, his father died. And they're trying to make him feel better about everything. And we're just having some fun. And I'd bet you dollars for donuts, once that was explained, she would absolutely love this. Because it was, to me, what they used to do after, like, a live Raw or SmackDown, where they would do something only for the crowd. The Rock would drink with a heel, or Steve Austin would drink with a heel. You knew what was going to happen. They delivered. They did some singing or something that they never do on television. But as a fan just watching the Dark segment, you were just so happy when you went home. That's what I felt watching this here. If you want to say that that's an argument for this shouldn't have been on television, maybe it should have been on dark, you can make that argument if you want to. But at the end of the day, when I saw that cake and the match started, I knew somebody was going in the cake and I knew who it was going to be. Yes. And they delivered it. Yes. And in the middle of this, they had a very good match. They told you the story of Minus One on commentary. You saw his family out there. I mean, how could you feel bad about that? I find it hard to believe that on a grand scale, this was any sort of negative. I'm sure that some people didn't like it. I'm sure that some people thought that it was terrible. 
I don't think it makes a shit's worth of difference in the grand scheme of the wrestling universe to do this here on this show one time. Negative One is not going to be a regular. I mean, his father passed away like three, four weeks ago. It's still very recent. I really enjoyed this. I thought it was fine. That's my opinion. So afterwards, John Silver tells Adam Page he's good, amazing, a really good wrestler. He's handsome, and he has nice hair, and John likes him a lot. He gets down on one knee and asks, will you join the Dark Order? And Heyman takes the mic, and he pauses, and he collects himself, and he gets as far as, I can't. When the music starts to play, confetti fires off, they drop big banners, he said yes! <laughs> But Evil Uno is frantically trying to get it all put away, cut the, cut the confetti cut off, get these banners away, because he's the only one who heard. They were not expecting Adam Page to turn them down. Hangman says, listen, I had a lot of fun with you guys these last few weeks. I tried to put this off, but I've done the group thing. It didn't end well for me. I'm sorry. And he walks out on them, leaves the Dark Order hanging. And you know, the other thing, too, is I really like that part, too, when he says no and then all this stuff goes off. I mean, it was awesome. Yes. But... If we're going to talk about a casual fan that's never watched wrestling, this second part was like every bit as wacky as the first part, just in a completely different way. What in the fuck would someone surfing channels think about this really short, bald guy on his knees proposing to this cowboy and then all this shit flying in? I mean, it's, it was completely preposterous. And then this masked fella in a suit trying to get the decorations put away. Yes. It was it was wacky. There's no other word for what this was. It was wacky. If you're a big fan of these video clips here on YouTube, you're missing out on full-length shows. Down there on the bottom right-hand side of the screen, click that Join button, and when you sign up, you'll have full access to all of the shows that we've got up on YouTube, over 300 at current count. Wrestling Observer Live, The Brian and Vinny Show, and Figure Four Daily with Filthy Tom Lawler and Lance Storm. Hit the join button, sign up today. You can also click subscribe, and you'll always be alerted as to when new shows and clips are available.